traveling with too much stuff. And most of it's mine. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Hi. <laughs> I love it. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and we're super stoked because we are headed to Colorado to go check out a Heilung ritual yet again. I know, this will be the third one and you can't compare them to Red Rocks though. Like Red, Red Rocks. Rocks? Oh my God, I yeah. cannot wait. It's and a we, whole experience. And we've got all kinds of shenanigans that are gonna be going on, ATVs, all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be a blast. Drum circles, campfires, Man, wait till y'all see what happens in this video. And now it's time to get up and board our plane and we will see y'all in Denver. Here we go. I don't know what we do to deserve every single time. It's like we keep getting these sporty sports cars. <laughs> I get like a SUV and I end up getting this like Charger. police magnet. Police magnet. Police magnet. Give me the police old, magnet. The old like <laughs> one that doesn't look like a ticket on wheels. <laughs> look at that. I'll take this. Oh my gosh. Why are you hating? And it's cold. We got snow on the ground everywhere. It's right, cold. Let's make our way to the hotel. Let's go. We are stuck. I'm not happy. A giant Joe Biden motorcade came through and, and a cop the cop forced, forced us off the road. Forced us off the road and then said to keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, and now we are in the ditch. And now the cop has to call a tow truck. We just got off the plane. Like we just pulled out. This is comedy. This is comedy. So the tow truck came to get us and the tow truck is stuck. The tow truck, the tow truck is stuck. <laughs> Oh, good. Yes. Hey, success. She got him? She's driving. No, no. Oh, she was? She was. Well, there you go then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we're out. We're out. We're out. An hour little delay. An hour stuck in the ditch. Holy crap! Because of the cop. <laughs> That's the first time I ever got pushed off the road into a ditch by a cop. Yeah. I mean, he was just doing his job. He was a yeah, very nice he was. guy. He was a very nice guy. I don't mean, you know, yes. It's but don't a tell annoying. people to keep going more and more no, when it's I mean, snowy and muddy and we're on an incline and yeah. like. You know, learn from that one there, buddy. Yeah. But you know, he was nice. Yes, he was. Now I need to pay attention on him. Okay, pay attention. You're going that way. It was time for us to make our way to my Uncle Butch's surprise birthday party. Well, I mean, we missed the surprise part because we were hanging out with a cop for an hour, but you know, it happens. Also, my Uncle Butch and the Ninja share the same birthday, so we got to sing happy birthday to both of them. Happy birthday! So when we left the party last night, Jeremy told me that we were gonna have breakfast with grandma the next morning. So I'm pretty excited, got my coffee on the way. We had to drive an hour to go meet grandma. Kind of questionable, but hey, I went with it. It's so pretty. Morning. How are you doing? Oh my gosh. Do you not recognize that there's wolves right there? Oh my gosh! And what not my dad and not like, my grand. What is 
Oh, oh my god, you really got me good. Hey, girl. My brother, what up? I'm so sorry. It's early, and this whole time he said we were going to meet his grandma and his dad. So when I saw you guys, I'm like. <laughs> Is this a coincidence? <laughs> you really got me. Yeah, we didn't have this planned out for you. Secretly, I was hoping to do this yeah. with you guys. Nah, yeah, you, hey. brought, you, you brought them with you, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're so tricky. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited for this. This is the best surprise. Of course, I miss seeing grandma, but this is awesome. Oh, hi. hi. You want my fuzzy? Yeah, I know. Yes. I know. <laughs> or your beard. One or, or the other. Or my beard. Oh. Oh. Freaking awesome. Oh That's just well, that is awesome. Oh. Like talking, oh. 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 oh, you sound so good. good. You talk. Gotta be crashing an engagement. Come on, no y'all are some troublemakers. What is wrong with you guys? So, in true fashion of ours, something's gotta go wrong at some point. Just little speed bumps, but our heater wouldn't shut off. So we have to switch rooms in the middle of uploading. So. Honestly, bring it on. <laughs> Just keep bringing it on. Don't, no, stop and encouraging. Like, stop it's encouraging. It's only going. No, stop downhill? it. <laughs> you, if you jinxed us, you. We can deal with anything. It is a big pain in the neck, though. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Oh, we about to have some fun. Woo! We're on another adventure. We're up around Estes Park, Colorado, and I don't know if y'all can see that. Those two trucks, that's Matt and Jamie and Zach and Tina, and we got Ninja and I. Yeah, we are hauling some razors and um, we are about to go off-roading and this is going to be amazing. This is the first time out of all the times of off-roading that we've actually had to pull the HV or razor. <laughs> right, ourselves. An hour away <laughs> to get to where we're going. All right, we're getting ready to go. Woo! This is going to be great. Power. ATV in the mountains there's snow but it's still nice out. Yeah. It's beautiful. We got Zach and Tina. Yeah. We got Captain Astic. I mean Matt. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, this guy here decided to hit this giant puddle or one of these. <laughs> I hit the whole series of them. At like, I think it was the one at the end. It was the tidal wave. He did it at like Mach 3 and <laughs> sent a giant tidal wave right over Jamie yeah. and himself. Over yeah, but um, this is a blast. I mean, we are totally getting our money's worth on these babies. That's for sure. Oh, Ninja. <laughs> you are covered in my hold up let's see that sleeve oh my god yep same oh, that means we're having fun yeah jamming it's beautiful we're getting you wet payback you better hit him like my entire like everything <laughs> it didn't even bust <laughs> everything. that was like a rock it, it was supposed to blow up. It didn't. That's supposed to be payback. Yeah, that was hard. That was, he threw an ice brick at me. <laughs> Let's see if you can hit it. Oh, I did. Go. Did you? There you go. Yeah. Oh, you hit my ear too. We made it back successfully. Yeah. You yeah. know how you can tell it's successful? Look how? Yeah. I know. Mud. <laughs> Look at our, uh, mud. <laughs> mud. Yeah. They're not as muddy. They must have been yeah. driving better than us. We had just found out that day that we were going to get to interview Ivor. So we had to get back and get ready, charge batteries, you know, all that other kind of stuff. But Jeremy did have something fun planned for us later that evening. Yeah, we were going to go visit Bear Creek Lake Campground and go hang out with a bunch of high lung fans and like minded folks planning on having an awesome drum circle and campfire and just everybody hanging out, having a good time. This wonderful spear is representing everybody in the Highland community pretty much, right? Like, tell, tell us a little bit what you planned with this spear. What did you have everybody do? Yeah, so we got everybody together and, and uh, we really wanted them to write down what this community means to them and, and what it has done for them, what they hope to get out of it. And, and we all tied it together onto the spear and then welcomed each other into kind of the Hylum community family because it will endure forever. We're together forever. Uh, we help each other. And that was this, this was a, a physical reminder of that. That's awesome. I love that you did that, man. Cheers to you, my brother. Yeah, thank awesome. you. Awesome. I think what makes High Long so unique is that their music has the ability to reach a broad spectrum of people. There is no stereotypical High Long fan. We're from all walks of life. Their music reaches us at a level that's deeper than just what you would hear on the radio. And when we all gather together for a tour at a venue, it's healing. It was a big day today, but we first had to go spend some quality time with our friends. I mean, how often do you get to be in Colorado together? This was so much fun. And of course I had to destroy everybody in disc golf. See, watch, look at this. It was just CGI to make me look bad. <laughs> it wasn't that. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Now it's time to interview Ivor. We're very excited and oh my gosh, we get to do it in Red Rocks. Ugh. Here she is greeting a few of her really big fans before we all jump in the shuttle bus and head up to the venue. So how's the traveling been so far for you guys? Everything okay? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. Hanging uh, out in LA for a few days before this. Nice. Get some beach time? No. Yeah. No? <laughs> no. No beach. No, no beach, it was, no. It was all she was doing some writing and oh okay. Then we were hanging out with, with, with some people that were know there and yeah. Okay. 
think we got enough devices today. We got a GoPro 360, R5, Zoom recorder, iPhone. Ivor was lovely. The interview was fun. We all had a great time. It's about 30 minutes long, so we're not going to put the whole thing. But here are a few excerpts just to give you a little teaser. We'll leave a link in the description box. So you can go watch the interview after this. Look who we have here, Ivor. Hey, welcome. Oh my God, this is awesome. And first, let me try and see if I can do this. Stuttlich Agitate. Whoa, you speak fair ways. That was perfect. See that, y'all? You don't have to be nice. How did you really do? I'm not even trying to be nice. Yeah, that was, that was really good. That's awesome, I love it. I, I was really hoping that, that I could at least try and speak a little bit, but. Yeah, on the way here, we heard this 35 times. Okay. Which way, so I <laughs> Okay. okay, but um, on the Heilung tour, like, mm -hmm. this is awesome. How did this come about? Like, especially at this iconic venue, Red Rocks, right? Like, how excited are you to be playing alongside Heilung and at a, a venue like this? I mean, it's such a dream come true, first of all, to be here and to get to play at this incredible place. And uh, yeah, so grateful to Heilung for inviting me along. On end, the overall message that you would like to leave with people is there one thing that when you sum up the album as a whole what is that for you what is the takeaway for you and how you want others to feel about it wow that's a good question i mean often you know when i write my songs i feel a certain emotion about them but then people uh, experience something else. No, I like to keep, uh, you know, the mystery of that and let people take it in and and create their own reality out of it. But what I what I hope is that people, that there's something on that album that people will connect with. Mm -hmm. Something that will give them some kind of strength or hope or empowerment and um, love, you know. We need a lot of that. We need that. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Very much you. Thank appreciated. You. Lovely. It's really wonderful. And Thank if you. you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we will see y'all soon, my friends. Peace. Peace. We felt really successful after that interview. It was so good to do it, but it was so good to get it done also. We had a little bit of time to kill in between going back for the show, and we really underestimated how long it would take to get into that venue. So heads up if you ever go, plan ahead. It takes forever to get through the so traffic. So much walking. So much walking. All right, well. Okay, <laughs> hard lesson learned. When you're coming to Red Rocks, understand where you're coming in specifically because we have to go to the box office and enter <laughs> yeah. the farthest away lot. Yep. And now we have a pretty long hike. So, Sorry, I'm out of breath. The altitude's getting too Yep. Long. So we got to get going. We got to take a hike. It ended up being way more efficient to take a taxi to get our tickets at the box office and make our way back. There was zero chance we were going to make even the start of the show if we would have had to walk the whole way. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here we are. We made it. We made Honestly, it. Honestly, that was like the most could have been stressful situation, but it wasn't. Taxi saved the day, and we had the nicest taxi Super driver. Super cool. So shout out to his name. He yep. Was awesome. <laughs> How is it walking up those stairs? Oh my God. How you doing, buddy? It was a long, steep hike. <laughs> Stage, us. us. Stage, <laughs> us. us. <laughs> Good evening, friends and relatives. Ina Monique West, Nijona Ellenwood, Ina Wasakachi, Ka, Nimiko. 
My name is Dijona Ellenwood. I'm Apache and Nez Perce. I want to tell you all that we are so thankful to be here once again. This has been a beautiful experience. The first time, and now we're here again to a full house once more. Katsiayo, everybody, for being here. Thank you. We didn't want to get a copyright on this video, so you're not hearing Ivor right now. This is Jeremy's song, Ritual, which you should definitely go listen to. So how about that? Oh my gosh. I don't even know how we talk right now because it's too much of a high afterwards. <laughs> the, the ending of that was just like... You can you feel your people screaming. Your heart is racing. I feel my heart. I feel like I hear my heart. It was amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> What a cool place that we got to stay at. A little Airbnb up in the, the mountains, its own little lake and tire swing. It's so secluded and just beautiful. But it is time to pack up and get on the road to Moab where we'll be staying for a night, hopefully exploring a little bit. Should be a blast. What a cool place. Great people with an amazing dog, Jocko. Jocko Taco. Good times. Welcome to Utah. Very warm and very arid. It feels great. I'm excited to see more. The drive's been beautiful so far. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. It's been awesome. Gotta look out for the snaddle rakes. The snaddle, snaddle rakes. rakes. And the jackalopes. And the jackalopes. The fictional jackalopes and the axolotls. <laughs> Instead of driving directly back to Arizona from Colorado, we decided since we were so close, we had to take a road trip and visit some national parks that have been on our bucket list. My baby, Arches oh my National gosh. Park. Finally, this is some place I've wanted to visit my entire life and here we are. And it's a beautiful day. We're gonna try to catch sunset 
We're gonna go scope out some spots and hopefully catch like these gorgeous colors pop out. Yeah. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed guys. This is just awesome. Yeah. That ninja. So am I like rock climbing technically? What an epic view. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Gorgeous. In your element this is so beautiful yes this is our element being out here beautiful scenery just feels so free feels so good gosh this is a really beautiful country i can't believe it's taken this many years of my life to come out and see this gorgeous canyonlands first time here i love it what do you think babe oh i love it yeah? this is great yeah We had to make our way back to Arizona, but there was one more stop that seemed very fitting as the last hoorah before we made our way. Jenny. So clearly this is the spot everybody's looking for. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. <laughs> But on the Ooh. rail, y'all. I thought he was really going. Oh, no. <laughs> there goes my hat. <laughs> We're losing all our stuff, y'all. Oh my god. But oh, this Colorado trip has been amazing. We went down through Utah, Moab, Harches, all this stuff. Highland was awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's been an absolute whirlwind of a trip. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see y'all soon, friends. Peace. Peace. We'll go this way. <laughs>